is the new Super Motocross Series the answer to all our problems? Quite possibly not. Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I want to thank you for coming. If you're returning, I want to thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's bar banging topic, I'm going to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. Very important to stay close to the channel in these crazy, crazy moto times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. Always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows and sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. And friends, speaking about rainbows and sunshine, my gosh, can you see the latest trend, the latest idea? that's going on. American Supercross, American Motocross is starting to fizzle out. They needed to come up with some new thing to sell, some new product to sell you guys to see if they could sell more sponsorship, endorsements, television package, generate money, whatever they can. The realities are, are this, friends, for me personally, because I've been around for a while and I've <laughs> been involved with the industry for many, many years, and I've seen it at the height, the glory days of Supercross and Motocross. Listen, friends, the realities are this. Supercross, Supercross was born in stadiums to bring the confines of motocross into a stadium where they could where you could come pack in like a concert where you get a lot of spectators to have a view of this incredible incredible sport and it was awesome and it, it did all start off in the 70s with the super bowl of motocross at la coliseum and then the light bulb went out off for somebody they said we need to take start taking this to different stadiums around the nation and it worked it was super cross was born but the realities are this friends it's become so politicized and we see now american motocross and supercross being threatened the realities are this friends supercross was fine on its own supercross and motocross indoors and outdoors those two disciplines is all we needed but unfortunately they're losing a grip on it and they've 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 ruined it see the thing is with supercross and supercross is is the where the money's at motocross was typically somewhere where like the new rider you put them into the motocross series before you throw them on a supercross track but we're going all around that we're getting all ass backwards and we're just trying to water down the sport with all these new hybrid series maybe i'm wrong maybe this will be the next best thing and it's going to relaunch the the whole industry i hope so i'm cheering for this thing but what i as i read between the lines and look between the cracks this is what i see they're reaching for straws personally it's like watching paint dry for me to watch some guy some guy trying to explain to me this new format and hype it up and hire riders and have press conference they're hyping up something that hasn't even happened it's not even going to happen for another year and it's so complicated my gosh listen all we need this is what we need we need to get back to indoors and outdoors you have the opener at anaheim one it has as soon as we lose that supercross is just over a1 is the only place you can have the supercross opener Vegas finale back at triple X or in, when we were doing that that was part of the fun of going to the finale it was in Vegas the party atmosphere the after parties hitting the strip hitting the clubs going to the hard rock now we're having at Salt Lake City Utah no no hey I love Salt Lake City Utah great stadium we should have a stop there not the Supercross finale so what I'm seeing out of this whole super motocross series the only bright spot i've seen so far is we're going back to the historical la coliseum where it was all born the super bowl of motocross back in the 70s gladiator games x games used to be held at la memorial coliseum that is the only thing i see currently and the fact that the track map appears to be kind of this hybrid almost like a daytona-esque track where you're going to have some outdoor sand and then some indoors which is going to cause fits for the riders for their setup you know typically i love i love a super cross track with triples and whoops and over unders and on off jumps and you know a lot of obstacles things it's technical right it's technical and you're bar to bar four wide in a narrow lane negotiating through these crazy rhythm sections super cross is insane outdoors we used to have it always. Glenn Helen, 
Glen Helen is awesome. The ta first turn, that Talladega, that was, the, you always had the opener at Glen Helen in outdoors and the indoors the opener at A1. This is where, I don't know why you're, we're trying to recreate the wheel. That's when we had the biggest television packages in the world trying to get this sport on their network. All the big heavy hitters. Now we can't, we gotta get streaming platforms, Peacock or whoever else to pick up these packages. We can't get Fox, we can't get you know, NBC, we can't get ESPN. None of the big dogs want us anymore. This is a massive red flag. And why you ask, I'm about to tell you. Because it's a money grab. The, the governing body of our sport wants to control the money. So if they can put this on some streaming platform and retain as much money, not have to pay out to a big network to pick this thing up. And the realities are the analytics just show that the television views are down. And thanks to courtesy like YouTube, most of us just re-watch the replay later, wait for somebody to post it. And like I've reported before, even this channel, as young as this channel is, has gotten shut down, flagged for copyright infringement for showing a short little clip of some supercross race. Stupid. They're biting the hand that feeds them. It's all about the fan. It's all about the sport. Exposure for the sport. Now you're flagging content creators from playing clips of of the sport you're trying to sell it's no wonder this thing is falling on its face in final thoughts i come to you as an ex-industry guy somebody wants to see you not only win on but off the track understanding the politics of what's going on here we are now grasping for straws as much as i'm cheering for this new super motocross or whatever it is and i'll be tuning into it of course because i love the sport i'm going to continue to cheer for the sport i hope this is the magic bullet for our sport. But the realities are, we don't have to recreate the wheel. We need to get back to selling Supercross as the opener in Anaheim, the finale in Vegas, and hype it. And instead of electric mini bikes at intermissions, put some freestyle double back flips, get Pastrana out there. I don't care, do something that resembles a little bit of what the sport was built on. High flying, high octane, motocross, and supercross. If you appreciate the content, I do want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe, enjoy this video. I know you're going to love the next video coming into your screen at this time, and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, please don't go over the bars today. I'll see you on the next video.